challenges that received back the Rainbow Warrior after the first time we had tried to enter Barora. We were looking for a new way to continue our protests and to still manage to enter the restricted area in the atoll. The French military and navy they didn't understand because they took over the bridge of the Rainbow Warrior. They tried to disconnect everything, but they could not stop the ship. We were still going around the navy vessels and were still proceeding. We built a little box with two joysticks where the captain would be able to place himself on the crow's nest, hidden. Then by doing that and disconnecting the instruments on the bridge, he was able to, with the joysticks, to steer the Rainbow Warrior into the atoll. They had submarines, frigates, they had navy tugs, they had invested so much in the second protest to uh, make it impossible for us to enter. And even though they were totally unable to know what we had planned, they had to cut through the sick plate to go physically into the engine room to stop by hand the engines. John Castle, the captain at the time, he remained on the crow's nest hidden with some canvas for over 30 hours until he actually asked himself to come down. <laughs> I think our ships are really one of our most important tools to be able to continue our campaigns. And, so, and nobody sees and knows what is happening out there. So we are able to go bear witness, do our protests, be able to highlight the problem and try to help for a solution and make sure that the industry is not left alone and that politicians are forced to act on some of those crimes which are happening out there.